All right, the purpose of this video is to um, talk about how to maximize the accuracy and precision of the uh, analog to digital conversion of a Arduino Nano Every. This approach should work with probably every Arduino. Um, cutting to the chase, what we're gonna do is uh, feed the Arduino with a precise external voltage reference and um, average the values that are returned from the ADC. That uh, averaging is um, a mathematical approach to provide a low pass filter on those values. And by doing that, we can achieve uh, very precise and accurate uh, ADC values, uh, conversion from analog to digital. Um, what we're looking at on, on the board here is um, um, we're taking the voltage from a uh, power supply, precision power supply, 4.999, basically five volts is being fed in um, through these leads here with the white tape on them into the AREF pin, that's this pin here. This third pin down is the AREF pin. So we're bringing five volts in through these uh, leads here. And then we're measuring the output of uh, basically the downstream voltage of a couple of LEDs for our testing the accuracy of this. We'll have two different voltages downstream of the blue LED and a red LED. And then we're using a fluke meter to measure those values. Those are these leads here, this red lead and this black lead. Go off to the fluke meter. They're measuring the downstream voltage on the LED, which is the voltage being fed into pin A3 right here, which is the pin we're using to uh, feed the ADC on the Arduino Nano. Um, we're going to look at the code now and see how this is all done. Summarizing where we're going to maximize the accuracy of analog to digital conversion on an Arduino, use a precise external voltage reference and use an averaging filter as a low pass filter on the values returned by the call to analog read. And uh, looking at the code, uh, we set up some um, external conditions. So we have the external voltage ref of five volts. We've measured that accurately. Uh, we have a ADC pin of A3. That's our input pin. Our bit depth on this board is 10 bits. So we calculate the steps as two raised to the power of the bit depth that gives us the 1024 uh, in this case. And um, in the setup method, we um, establish a baud rate for the serial output that we're gonna be reporting the results on. Uh, we have an analog reference set to external. That's the critical call that uh, tells the board that we're gonna be feeding it uh, voltage externally to use as the ADC re voltage reference. And we just spit out the value of um, the value that uh, we're using. Um, we establish some other constants before we enter the main loop, uh, the voltage that we're gonna be calculating and reporting by averaging, the number of counts we're gonna use for averaging uh, the total voltage of that uh, count, and then the average value when we divide by 100. We enter the main loop, delay by one second, reestablish the uh, total and the average value is zero every time we enter the loop. And then uh, we read many values and average them as a noise filter. In this for loop, going through the count of 100 in our case, calling analog read, adding to the prior total till we get a, a total of 100 counts, and then we uh, divide by the count to get the average, convert that to volts by taking the average value, um, dividing by the number of steps, that's 1024 in our case, and multiplying by the external voltage reference as a float, and uh, that gives us volts, and we print that out. Um, so I'll restart the board here, and you can look at that output on the right there. It's, there's the serial output here, and we'll compare that with the fluke meter. Um, so we're getting values of uh, 2.798. This is the downstream voltage of the blue LED uh, to 2.803. So from 2.798 to 2.803, that's five millivolt difference, which represents one step size. We have a five volt external reference. We have 1,024 steps, roughly 1,000 steps. That's five millivolts per step. And uh, that's the variability we see on the output using this approach. 
So it only jumps around by that five millivolt step. And the value is um, reported on the fluke at 2.803. And we're getting 2.803 or 2.798. So we are within the step size. Uh, I'm going to move that wire as well as the fluke probe over to the downstream of the red LED. Look at that other voltage. There we go. And that's uh, 3.616, 3.616 on the fluke. We're getting 3.613, 3.608, and an occasional 3.608. So we're within uh, two or three millivolts using this method. Once again, we only get uh, a variability on the output of um, 5 millivolts. I get the one reading of 3.608. Most of the rest are 3.613 on this output. I was seeing 3.616. That's a uh, 3 millivolt difference between what the fluke is seeing and what's being reported via the ADC on the Arduino Nano Every. So that's it. Um, this approach seems to work really well. Use that external voltage reference in combination with a averaging uh, low pass filter and you'll get uh, robust and accurate, precise ADC values. All right. Thanks for watching.